Hi everyone, my name is Siri Rishikar. I am here with you from Life Lab SRK. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher here in New York City. So I'm gonna share with you today some breathing exercises. The breath is everything. The breath is our life. The breath is really, the breath relates to how much energy you have, how much fire do you have, how much grit do you have, how much stamina, how much endurance. That all has to do with how you're breathing. So most people will take a deep breath and they'll inhale and they'll pull the belly in. And then when they exhale, they'll release the belly out. But what we wanna start doing is the opposite. We want to take our hands and we're gonna bring them right here and we're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna inhale and see if we can allow the belly to expand into our hands. And now exhale all the breath out. Exhale, 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 exhale. Great, so that's just long deep breathing. We're just filling up the belly, inhaling through the nose and then exhaling through the nose. Another thing that we can do is whenever you feel like you need some focus, when you need like when your mind feels scattered and you feel like you know you can't focus or if you're very ADD like I am, you're gonna take your hands, bring them out here. You're going to bring your right hand into a fist and you're gonna cup this left hand over the right fist. You have your two thumbs and you're gonna stare right between your thumbs. You're gonna inhale five counts. You're gonna exhale five counts. And you're gonna hold the breath out for 15 counts. And exhale. So that one is really good because you're suspending the breath out. And whenever we suspend the breath out, we're actually releasing fear from the body. And then you're focusing your eyes between your thumbs, which is really good for giving the mind a focal point. And so that will really calm the nervous system. It will make you really focused. And all you need to do is do it for three minutes. Okay, so the breath connects us back to ourself. And often when we're dealing with anxiety or when we're dealing with like a lot of negative thoughts going through our mind, it's like, we're not really connected to ourselves because our truth, our truth is actually right here and it's calm and it's centered. So whenever we're dealing with all this crazy energy, I call it the Vata energy, when we get caught up in the whirlwind around us, we're usually not in our truth. So let's do another one. What I love about these exercises is they're known to get rid of our imaginary disabilities. Okay, just the title alone, I fell in love with it. So we're gonna make an O shape with our mouth, just like this. And we're gonna do this powerful breath of fire through the mouth. So it's a very shallow breath in and out of our mouth. And the eyes are supposed to gaze at the tip of the nose. You're gonna do it for three minutes. I'm gonna speed you through it though. And then you're gonna take your hands and you're just gonna begin rotating the wrists like this. And we're gonna do an O-shaped mouth. Here we go. And when you inhale, you're gonna inhale and you're gonna squeeze the fists really tight for like 15 seconds. Really, really tight, squeeze everything. And then you're gonna exhale powerfully through the mouth. Okay, so that's exercise one. The second exercise is you're going to move your body like this and you're gonna use that O-shaped mouth again. So it's gonna go. And then on the inhale, after three minutes, you're gonna hold here for 15 seconds. You hold and you tighten every muscle and exhale. Bring your hands down, take a moment. And then the last, the third one, it's like you're fluffing pillows. Breathe that breath of fire through the mouth again. And then on the inhale, after three minutes, you're gonna stick your tongue out and you're gonna squeeze your body really tight. Exhale. And now just sit for a moment and really start to see your life without your imagined disabilities. 
Thank you so much for breathing with me. And I would love to say goodbye in the way that we do in Kundalini Yoga, and that is Sat Nam. Sat means truth and Nam means name. I hope these breathing exercises were helpful. Woo! <laughs>